All right, class, settle down. Class is in session. Everyone get to your seats. Hey there, YouTube. I'm Yukitsu. This is the Yukitsu Times. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to our little guide to Don't Starve, where we're very successfully not starving. As you can see, it's still winter. It lasts until about the 30th or 35th or something. I can't really remember. It's the full moon out. It's a wonderful night. Uh, I've got a beautiful fire going, but we've got pretty little to do here. And that's the problem with winter, is you don't have much to do, there's not much to do, and you just sort of wander around and hope that you don't die of starvation, and when you're as well-fed as I am, that's just not going to happen. So, let's throw these seeds on the fire, they're going to rot if I don't. Uh, I've basically been eating honey ham every night because we're really, really well-fed. Um, but, yeah, so, like I said, when it's winter, and you're bored, you just sort of make your own objectives, so. Uh, we're gonna continue looking for a winter qualifant. Tricky to find, just because, you know, it might not be anywhere near us, who knows where in God's name those things are. Uh, we're gonna keep harassing those uh, walruses, and we're also gonna go look for Chester, I think. You know, it seems like a good way to spend our time a little bit. Uh, probably. Now, I started a fire at the wrong side here. Probably should have started on the other one because I kind of need to get into my boxes and throw away some of the stuff that I've got lit littering my inventory here, like this niter. I don't need it. But anyway, yeah. We've got our second icebox over here. This is going to be the icebox for our food that we are going to set up while we're sleeping. Once again, just get rid of this guy. If you hear that blue sound when you chase it far away, that means they're just gone. They're not going to come back. Uh, we'll sleep in our tent tomorrow night, but for now we're okay in sanity. It's uh, 126 and we're going to regain a little bit for our winter hat during the day. Uh, da -da -da -da. I should probably chop down more trees as well. Start getting some more boxes, but uh, the tree guardian, we'll, we'll look out for him as well. But I, I tend to have bad luck in getting tree guardians to attack me. It's just uh, they don't, they don't want to mess with me. I'm just too much for them. Okay, let's uh, dump off our, all our stuff that we don't want here. Get that niter in there. And let's look through here. Need to look for one with charcoal in it. We're gonna take this. Take this. We're gonna throw this back in here. Because we want to make another boomerang. Okay. Toss all this back in here. Where's my charcoal? I'll put this one in. Here then. Okay, perfect. And uh, you know what? Let's go down south to look for the qualifant first. Um, you know, the tracks are just as likely to spawn down south near the walruses as it is north away from them, so you might as well search down this way. You just sort of run around until you find the first track. Once you've got that first track, you can really easily find the rest of it. Um, you might as well pick up all the stuff while we're down here. Our lives have been so cushy this winter that I haven't even had to eat all the food that's on the ground that uh, normally would have been completely gone by now. And I might as well get rid of it, otherwise it just sort of sits there. It's a bit of a waste if you ask me. Let's eat that seed because it's about to go bad already. Uh, we're going the wrong way because I'm a moron, but you already knew that, I'm pretty sure. We're going to try and use up the spear just so that I, it's not cluttering up my inventory. We can get onto our 100% spear, but it doesn't really make a huge difference. Our nice warm beard, our stone, and our hat are all keeping us pretty, pretty warm, so we don't need to worry about any of that stuff. Let's just head on up here. There's the younger McTusk. Looks like his father's still dead. Okay, well, let's, uh... Hmm. Pig, Pig is helping us. Okay, well, thanks, big man. Okay, so, uh, looks like the Elder McTusk has still not respond yet, so... Mm, not the most fruitful of endeavors that we've gone under and undertaken, but, uh, you know... You're not gonna be tremendously profitable every day in winter. I did manage to break that spear finally, though, which is nice. Okay. 
There's probably some pattern to Qualifant tracks, but to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure what it is or what it could be. I need to get this uh, spider nest in check. Let's go do that. Um, and obviously the reason I want to get the spider nest in Oh, shit. This is still there. There we go. Okay, now I've gotten rid of that stupid, uh... 1% or whatever. Shit. Uh. Okay, so let's build ourselves a temporary fire here. Put on our football helmet since we're near a fire. There we go. No problem, really. A little bit more problems than normal, but uh, nothing so serious that we couldn't persevere. Let's get our winter hat back on. And let's go destroy this. We want to make sure that we destroy every uh, level 3 spider nest before it can turn into a spider queen, because we don't want to deal with a lot of those. This is another profitable thing to be doing with your time in uh, winter, I suppose. Just use that to heal up a bit. Okay, that's perfect. I'm gonna pick up that mushroom, I'm gonna replace my uh, berries with it, eat these berries because we're a little bit low on stamina. Not low, but uh, we've lost a little bit. But these uh, green caps are gonna be a great boon to my sanity here. So let's cook them up. As you can see, 139 sanity. We're now really well off there. Uh, normally, I don't actually mind going insane, but uh, today we're just going to get that sanity back up there because for tutorial purposes, uh, probably don't want to be teaching all you guys to have bad habits like being insane. Let's uh, get down here. I'm going to camp near the other spider's nest just because I want to destroy them as well. Uh, and we'll probably have to wait till morning before we can do it, but it's uh, worthwhile. Chop down some trees just so that we'll have the resources for tonight. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Now, if you haven't noticed this, you can stun lock one spider until it's just dead. But if there are multiple spiders, um, one of them will hit you while you're hitting one, so you can't really stun lock them properly. Let's get the campfire built here. So, try and just fight one spider at a time. If you can kill them quickly enough, you'll only ever really be fighting one at a time. Should have just held down the button there. Would have been better. Oh dear. Drop that. There we go. And uh, maybe we can get over here and light this sucker on fire. Oh crap. Or not. All right, well, that's the Spider Queen, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just stick by here and see what she decides to do. But uh, yeah, we got to this one too late, so now there's a damn Spider Queen. Uh, not the most pleasant of situations, honestly. Let's just drop down these pine cones. Looks like she's decided to wander over the other way, so we're not going to have to worry about her wrecking our shit, but uh, yeah, this is still not ideal. It's nighttime, we've still got a lot of night's cover. I absolutely recommend not fighting the Spider Queen when it's this sort of gear in your inventory. Uh, personally, I only do it when I've got the Fire Staff. And even then, basically, like, the Spider Queen is really annoying. I'm just gonna quarantine off this entire area, not come down here because like, uh, she's that annoying to fight. There's just a hundred million spiders everywhere. If I don't kill her quickly, there'll just be even more spiders' nests that become spider queens, so... 
like, uh, if there's any one mob in this game that I just don't like, it's the spider queens. And it's not because they're impossible to kill, it's that they take a lot of resources to kill, they're taxing our sanity to kill. And, like, they, there's just hundreds of them. There's usually just, it, as you get later and later into the game, there's just more and more of them, and it's really annoying. Looks like we're not going to be bothered by her tonight, though, so... Uh. Oh, crap. Okay, uh, that music is playing. That means the Spider Queen has decided we should be aggroed upon. But you know what? It's daytime. So, we're just going to leave. No point in sticking around there, really. There's the McTusks again, but uh, again, no Elder McTusk, so let's keep running around and hope that we can find a Qualfant tr trail. I'm guessing it's might. Maybe let's check by the Beefalo Herds. That seems like a reasonable place to check for this. Uh, one of the other things that we're going to be doing fairly soon is going insane, and there's benefits to going insane in this game. Uh, when you do go insane, you end up getting a big bonus to your sanity or insanity items production. Uh, you can make an item called Nightmare Fuel by capturing rabbits and killing them. Uh, they turn into beardlings, these horrible little monster things, uh, and those are really useful. So, uh, looks like the beefalo are in heat this season, so we don't really want to be around here either. Just all around, not good days. But yeah, let's just run around and keep looking for qualifant tr uh, tracks. Because, I mean, we've got really nothing better to do with our time. I could start putting down those spider traps. In fact, I might as well. Uh, let's start doing that while we're looking for a beefalo. Uh, or, sorry, a qualifant trail. But, realistically, I don't think there's any great way to catch uh, a qualifant without sort of just stumbling upon the tracks while you're out and about. And that's why it's a good idea to be out and about as well. And uh, another thing we're going to do tonight probably is build ourselves to those pig houses that I said I was going to build. Uh, kind of got distracted from it. Honestly, you don't have to like build pig houses quickly. Uh, you can always wait a little bit on those. Okay, so we're in that sort of biome where a lot of rabbits tend to be. So just build a bunch of traps, put them down, and uh, they'll start giving us rabbits pretty soon. We don't need to bait them. Uh, we're just going by time. And if you do bait a rabbit trap, you'll get a rabbit, like, right away if you absolutely need one for whatever reason. But uh, we usually don't need ours right away, so. I'm just going to do this a slow way. There we go. I'm out of grass, so it'll take a while before I can do that again. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to pick up our grass as we uh, can get it. Oh, that trap just got knocked over. Rabbit uh, ran into the trap and nudged it, but didn't actually uh, fall into it, so that happens sometimes. If you ever find a trap and it's empty, that's not a bug, that's just they not, uh, came close enough to it to activate it, but didn't get close enough to fall into it. Okay. The great thing about rabbit biomes is that they're surrounded by these uh, grass tufts, which are the main source of uh, traps. So, two for one biome, kind of, in that regard. Get everything that you need all at once. Let's head back to base, get started on those pig houses. Uh, no, those are rabbit holes. Okay. Sometimes, uh, my vision's a bit bad, so I sometimes mistake rabbit holes or things like that for, uh, qualifant trunks. Alright. And once again, back home. Not the most profitable of journeys, but that's okay. They can't all be. And uh, that'll do for now. Let's put that in there. Let's put this in here. Go and refine, refine ourselves some stones. It's freezing. Now, I think I had another stack of wood, so we're gonna grab that. But uh, we're gonna have to spend a day chopping wood again. Never a fun day, but that's, that's the nature of things. Perfect, okay. Let's keep refining. Now, I think I needed two boards, and I need my pig skins. So, let's grab these. Get over 
here and go to structures and find pig houses. Oh, I need four boards. Fantastic. Okay. And uh, the pig, unfortunately, is going to go right to sleep, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, one of the other things that we're going to have to do is go get more pig skins, which we might do at a different date, but not quite right now, I don't think. Uh, we also want to build ourselves another crockpot, so we need two more carved stones. And I need my charcoal. Uh, now, we don't have quite enough charcoal, but, uh, you know, this gives me the idea. Let's go grab our hammer as well. We'll spend the day looking for a qualifant, but while we're looking for the qualifant, we'll head up north to where the uh, charcoal is, where I burned down that entire forest by accident, and we'll harvest all that up. So, that'll be a nice day's events, I think. Okay. Pretty much out of trees again. Uh, we're gonna sleep through the night here, so we don't need too much firewood. And one of the things you can do is just fall asleep while it's uh, still dark, not when it's pitch black. If you just manage to get just before it turns pitch black, you can sleep in your tent and the guru won't eat you. Uh, even if it there's no fire there. So, chop down this one tree really quickly. And skedaddle back to bed. Let's get right in there. There we go. I don't know why you roll out of your tent uh, in the morning. It seems to be a peculiar choice of the you know, doing things, but that's just uh, the nature of your character, I guess. Okay, we're gonna kill that pig. And uh, we're gonna use our boomerang to do it. using this here is that uh, pigmen uh, tend to kite you. You can also sort of anti-kite them by waiting till they go in for a hit. Oops. It doesn't work when I'm talking. But you wait for them to go in for a hit and then just immediately retaliate. But uh, it's tricky. But if you get them, you can stun lock them. So that's the advantage of that. Now, I'm hoping that they dropped the uh, pig skins so that I don't have to go on this little journey. But Looks like I'm going to have to. Let's head up north. We can check on that spider's nest to see if it's uh, turned into a level 2 or a level 3 again so we can uh, harvest it again. But uh, yeah, lots of resources that we can get up here today, so this will be, be a pretty good day. Not exciting, but it'll be a pretty good day. Um, let's see here. It was in the swamps that there were these pig heads just uh, around for some reason. I'm gonna get our charcoal while we're here. Now, I only needed six, but I'm going to get more than that because uh, I also want to be able to just um, build boomerangs since I find them useful. There we go. Ironically, the tree guardian doesn't get angry at you for doing uh, burning an entire forest down. He just gets angry if you're chopping down the trees uh, personally. I guess you can't tell when it's uh, who precisely is doing the forest fires. Okay, uh, if I recall... Oh, no, they don't show up on the map, Drat. Okay, I, I was hoping that the pigskins showed up on the map, but they don't, so... Oh, well. I'm going to eat this jerky, because it's a good source of everything. And uh, I'm going to pick up these green mushrooms, because my sanity's kind of been iffy as of late. So, I'm pretty certain that there were... pig... corpses along the road somewhere. Here they are. And this will give us those pig hides that we need to make another pig house. Don't mess with me, fishman. Okay. Well, we've got everything we need, and I still don't see any um, qualifant tracks. Uh, I could just be blind, you know, they could be, like, blatantly obvious. But we were freezing to death anyway, so it's time to get back to base. As you can see, there's already a lot of rabbits in the field, uh, in our traps, so... 
We're gonna build more of them in the next few days, of course, but uh, for now, that'll be all we can really do. I should just beeline it straight back, uh, and I should be wearing my winter hat. We're nearing the end of winter, though. Things are going pretty darn well, honestly. Uh, we're gonna be taking a little bit of damage, but we'll get back in time to not have to worry too much about that. There we go. Okay. Let's see here. We can build our crockpot. Let's get over here. And this time I won't screw this up. As close as possible to your fridge. That way while you're in your icebox, you can also open your crockpot and you can move ingredients from one thing to the other without having to jump back and forth all that much. Uh, let's put our green mushrooms in this one. Fig skins in here charcoal and once again we're short on rocks but that's okay since we don't really need to build anything with them for a little while but a little while longer um, I don't think anyway we might want to build more pig houses but uh, I think we've actually got just enough for one more pig house so we'll do that in the morning oops all the way around I guess oh no maybe I had more than one stack of rocks I'm not paying really attention to what I'm even doing here um, hmm. All right. I just can't count, apparently. So, yeah, we got enough for the two refined rocks. Uh, we'll do that uh, some other day. For now, it's nighttime. I'm going to sit around here. I'll show you guys what's going on when morning comes. Because for now, I'm not going to be doing really anything useful. Uh, I'm going to cook myself another honey ham, of course. Blah. Do not... Yeah, do not put your beef jerky back in the fridge in the way I was just about to. Uh, when you've got all those different stacks at different um, levels of rot. Okay, let's put the honey in there. Since I've only got one stack of honey and one stack of monster meat, I can uh, put them back in there in that manner, just by clicking with it onto the icebox, but uh, not, not the other thing. Anyhow, I will see you all in the morning. Welcome back. It's now the morning. Nothing new going on here. We're going to go on a little bit more of an adventure. Wandering around hoping to find pretty much anything interesting at all. Um, we might have to start chopping down trees for rabbit boxes, uh, which are hopefully going to become beardling boxes fairly soon. If not, we can always just jump back and forth through the portals uh, until we go insane. That way we can harvest beardlings and I can show you the insanity tools, which will probably be my last guide in this series. Once you've made them, you're pretty much set. I mean, the insanity tools, the fire wand, really strong helps you get through a lot of situations that you otherwise couldn't and uh yeah it's just if you can get that far you're probably fine just gonna pick some more grass we're gonna wander around and keep trying to look for that uh qualifant trail if we can find it that would be really wonderful uh, but it doesn't look like the game is you know cooperating with us on that front just running around picking grass uh trying to get as much of this as possible I also need more rocks. I'm running low on rocks, so we'll go on a uh, mining expedition at some point pretty soon. But for now, just get all that trap gear, chop down some trees up here, and uh, maybe we'll get attacked by a tree guard. That would be nice. Uh, be really interesting at the very least. Chopping down a tree with our shovel, you know. Fortunately, that cancelled once he realized what he was doing. Uh, if you want to ever do that, you can just switch here. Yeah, it doesn't actually do anything. You still lose uh, your durability on whatever it is that you're supposed to be using for whatever it is you're doing. But, uh, you know, it looks kind of funny when you're chopping away a tree with a, 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 a with a shovel. Not, not that useful a glitch, but, you know. down a shovel too, which will be pretty, pretty nice. Oops, don't want to pick that up really. And uh, basically we're just chopping down trees to build ourselves some rabbit boxes. We'll pick up those rabbits that we've captured if we've captured any, uh, lay down some more rabbit traps if we can, and just start filling up boxes with rabbits. Uh, I like to try and kill two birds with one stone. Um, by trying to summon Krampus at the same time while I'm trying to go and 
go insane. Uh, which may or may not be a good or a bad idea. I'm not absolutely 100% sure, honestly. But uh, that's how I like to do it. So I don't have too many troubles with Krampus when he shows up. Uh, Krampus is the guy that sort of regulates karma. If you start murdering too many things for meat or whatever, uh, he'll show up, he'll break all your boxes and steal your stuff. So you want to be prepared for when he shows up. So you want to build your murder rabbits boxes somewhere a little bit away from home. So, got ourselves some nice boxes full of rabbits, or a nice uh, backpack full of rabbits rather so far. So we're going to go down, build a box, and that will hopefully help our situation out in some abstract sense that I'm not sure of yet. Um, because in all honesty, I think if you can make the Shadow Manipulator, you go insane enough to go make that, uh, you're, you're basically just proving to yourself that you are in fact that good at this game, because it doesn't really do anything that useful. Uh, all the things in it are very hard to maintain, less efficient than the more mundane equivalent in a lot of ways, and uh, as rewarding as they are to have made, uh, they do drive you insane, so they're very impractical. Not sure if I think that they're actually useful or not, but... Uh, because, like, if, if you have it, that probably means that the spear is more than enough for you. Okay, so we're going to build our bunny rabbit box up here. That way he won't rampage through our base's inventory when he shows up. Uh, by he, I mean Krampus, of course. Okay, so, got ourselves some nice boxes full of rabbits. We're not close to insane, not even anywhere near, so let's toss this in there. Hold on one second.